Right. All right. Hello. Thanks for continuous watching our learn AutoCAD plan 3D in minutes. So, and for today's topic, we are going to how to create spec and catalog in plan 3D. So, let's go straight away to our topics. So, after you install plan 3D, so what you will get together in your plan 3D, you will get a spec editor. So what you need to do, you just search on your PC for 2023 and above, you will not get the desktop icon. So you just need to search on your PC. So if you think that this application you are always use, so what can I suggest after you open, you just pin at the task, taskbar. Okay, so after this, once you close, you will see this icon again at this taskbar. So this will be the interface for your spec editor. So in case you want to know more about this spec editor, first thing first, you need to understand about the catalog and the spec. Okay, for the catalog at the right side, it will be the overall products that you have or your supplier have. While for the spec is something that really new. Okay, so it means you want to compile the things that you only need into your project. So for example here, if I want to open a catalog, so I can just directly open. Normally, the catalog will be saved at your C drive, AutoCAD Plan 3D 20XX, which is the version that you use, content. So this will be the list of catalog that normally have in your PC. So some of the catalog I install after I install the Plan 3D. Later, I will show on how to install the new catalog. So over here, if I want to use some of the catalog, so what can I use? I can go to here. So go to the C part, ask me. So for the first one, I want to go with the pipe and fitting catalog. Just open the pipe and fitting catalog. So it will directly open at the bottom side only because catalog only appear at this bottom area. So this will be our overall list for my catalog. While for the top area will be my spec. So in case if we want to edit some of the catalog or we want to create a new catalog, so we just need to go to at this top area, they will have three button. So they will have three tabs. The first one is a spec editor, which is the spec that we want to create later. This one is the branch table, which we want to link between one component to another component. Okay, while the third one is the catalog editor, which we want to edit our existing catalog. So for this case, I want to do some new component in my catalog. So for example, I want to create a new elbow. So I just need to go to this new. Okay, and then look for a fitting. Look for elbow. So the most easiest way to do a new catalog or new item, new component in your catalog so by sort by their primary end type. So for example, I want to look for something that related to the PL. Okay, PL, and then whatever type that I think that is suitable for my project, then I can just directly use. So recommended to directly choose your size. For example, I want to choose six until eight inch for this case. So then I just need to click on this elbow, the type that I require, and don't forget to insert your short description. So this one is the ACAD custom elbow. So after I done with this process, what can I do? I just need to click create. So later they, they will directly save your catalog here and it will open your catalog. So normally, when we want to insert the catalog, first thing that very important, which is this connection port properties. So if you are working with this connection port properties, so you need to make sure that the end type is tally between your pipe and also together with your fitting. So, and also together with the pressure class with the, uh, with the facing. So if you are using some facing, then you just need to choose whatever facing that related. So normally facing for flanges. Okay, so what can I do now? I can just directly copy my long description for 
this family elbow then i just make it the name as a pl okay just to make sure that uh, i know that this connection this n type will be as a pl so let's go to the size go to the, this size so in this case i want to remove this seven inch size okay and then for the six inch i can click on this six i can just directly change the value here 6.1 for example so since this one is an elbow they will have two ports first port and then the second port so what we can do we can just directly go to the next port okay so the most easiest way if these things are same so you just need to tick here so then just hit yes so this long description i can put something like this my long description for families while i just need to add the, the size here so easy for me to monitor on the bq later on the boom later so for this eight also i just need to repeat the same process 8.1 new size space comma with eight inch okay don't forget to change the size for each here so for here for the d1 and d2 will be the same that's why the d0 d d2 the value is zero because it will be the same so for here i just want to change as d1 d as a 6.1 okay and for the r okay the radius i would like to choose a for this case an angle is 90 degree with the length which is the l1 also eight and l2 will be also eight okay while for my eight inch we just need to repeat the process for 8.1 okay d0 just leave it zero so this one for r i just change to 10 and 10 together with this 10. to make sure that your 3d model or 3d component able to see on the spec uh, on the isometric later so what is the most important things which is here when you go to the general properties tab scroll to the bottom you will see that they will have type and s key so this type and s key we will explain later in the next video so this one i just click save to catalog okay it will save in here okay if you are uh, dealing with some error means you need to specify where is the problem okay you need to find out where is the problem okay let's go back to the spec editor so for a spec editor if i want to create a new spec just go to here file new create spec if you want to create from the existing one just click existing so i want to create from zero so just hit create spec and then this one is a new a cat spec so just hit create it will blank okay at this area they will have no component yet so what i can do i can look for my item so the first one i want to add which is the elbow click add to spec so this elbow will have size six to eight inch only okay the second things because this one is a using pl so the second things i want to insert which is the pipe so look for a pipe so in this case i just go to the pipe seamless okay look for a pl okay so whatever size that i have here for example i want to choose this size so you can click add to spec also so for this area if i look at, uh, if i my project are using only six to eight inch what can i do so we can just directly double click and remove whatever size that not related to our project. So that will be the difference between catalog and spec. Spec is only focused on whatever we use only. Okay, so over here, I just need to click one by one. We don't have any option. So just need to click. If your catalog have a lot of item, then you just use a few, then you need to click a lot of numbers, a lot, lot of sizes so just hit everything then hit apply hit apply okay so when you hit okay the size for part change to six to eight only so what happened if i try to insert another elbow 
Okay, when I go to here, for example, want to insert elbow 90, okay, which is using SW. Uh, this one don't have the proper size. Long radius elbow 45. BV. Yeah, this one also have a good size with me, fit with my spec. So add to spec. You will see later they will have uh, these warning symbols. Okay, so first thing first, let's reduce the size first. So try to remove whatever size that that not related to your project. Okay, the symbol warning symbol, which is that you can see on my screen after this, we need to remove it. So we need to make it clear. So how to change or how to remove it? Okay, give me a second. So after I done with all these things, the symbol still appear. Okay, the symbol for the warning symbol still appear. So the main reason why, because the software cannot detect which will be the priority for this elbow. If we are using this six inch, which elbow will go first? So to solve that kind of issue, go to part use priority, these symbols, double click. Okay, for example, my six inch, my priority will be my custom bar. Then mark as result. While for the 8 inch, I want to make sure that this elbow 90 LR will be the first priority. So just change the priority level to up. Okay, mark as resolve also. Hit apply and OK. Then the symbol will change to this green color. So after you're done with this process, so you can just directly click save the file, go to your plan 3D, open any drawing. Okay, for example, I create new drawing. So, spec test. Okay, so I would like to insert my new spec into the Plan 3D software. So, to insert the new spec, so we will work at here. So, you can go to this left side. Later, you will see this will be the PNID folder. This will be my plan 3D folder. At the bottom area, you will see the related files and spec. For this spec, what can I do? I can go back to here, right click, and then copy spec to project for first time. So make sure that you already save this file. So when I go to my spec editor, when you hit save, it will save to this directory. So make sure that you clear about the directory. See part common new ACAD spec. So go back to my plan 3D, copy spec to project. So load the file from C drive, I get plan 3D content, C part comment, and then you will see that this will be the latest one, okay? And then hit open. So after you load your spec into your plan 3D, what you need to do, go to here, change the existing spec, to whatever name that you choose. So this one new is new ACAD spec. So in here, they will have three item only. The first one is a pipe. The second one is elbow. Okay, they will have two types of elbow. So let's test the first pipe. Okay, I would like to choose a six inch pipe by using this pipe. Okay, this will be my first pipe, which is six inch. Okay, while for the second one using eight inch. Okay, let's check on the elbow. So since we already set up something and then we can go to the properties. So these properties using six inch, it will use EL90. So I believe that my spec for the custom is not match. Yeah, it's not match. Okay, that will be the reason why these two pipes are cannot be connected. So because of this one is PL and PL. So how to solve that kind of issue? Go to your project setup. Okay, look for plan 3D connection setting. Okay, we need to go to the plan 3D folder, DWG setting, pipe connection setting. So we don't have any option for a proper join. Let me check here. Oh, no, no, no. For elbow, you need to change into the spec again. 
go back to the spec and then change in the proper proper connection okay for the, this one so you need to change as maybe as a sw or a bv so if i change this one as a bv not pl because my part already used pl then this one can use already so that's how it works in autocad plan 3d spec editor so later uh, don't forget to join our next video so our next video will focus more on this spec